When it comes to climate change, Bill Gates wants people to think of two numbers, 51 billion and zero. 51 billion is the number of tons of greenhouse gases typically added to the atmosphere every year because of human activities. Zero is the number of tons we need to get to by 2050 in order to avoid a climate crisis. Gates has released a new book detailing his plan to get to zero tons called How to Avoid a Climate Disaster, The Solutions We Have and the Breakthroughs We Need. His breakdown of how we get to 51 billion tons of greenhouse gases each year puts goods production, as well as generating and transmitting electricity, at the top. The rest is divided among transportation, raising animals, forestry, and temperature control systems. Last year, Gates suggested the U.S. should create a National Institutes of Energy Innovation to help the country take the lead in climate change innovation. Gates says currently about $7 billion a year of government money gets spent on research and development for energy innovation, compared to $37 billion a year for medical research. But at the same time, he acknowledges that whatever developments come from the U.S. have to be affordable for other countries to actually implement. And the U.S. accounts for 14% of global emissions, so even if it managed to get to zero carbon emissions, there'd still be a long way to go. In a recent interview with Forbes, Gates says he has put $2 billion of his own money towards companies working towards zero emissions. Two of the more well-known ones he's backed are Impossible Foods and Beyond Meat, both dealing with plant-based meats. His biggest bet has been on Terra Power, a nuclear power company with a reactor that uses depleted uranium as fuel. The company had been planning on building its first reactor in China, but the deal was blocked by the US government. Now the plan is to build a demonstration plant somewhere stateside, and the company received $80 million to do so from the Department of Energy. The other half will come from the private sector, mostly Gates himself. He's also created a fund called Breakthrough Energy Ventures and has investors such as Jeff Bezos, Vinod Khosla, John Arnold, and John Doerr putting in money towards zero carbon companies. Gates says he hopes, at the least, his book will get more people talking about what needs to be done to save the planet. But a bigger measure of his success is whether the Biden administration takes up any of his proposals as official policies.